Three. Surprise! Surprise! Yay! Happy birthday. Happy Bon Voyage! Thank you! Surprise dinner. Wow! Yeah. Okay. Oh, I thought this was a one more year party. <laughs> We've got your extension papers underneath your plate. I can finally go shopping now and shop as much as I want when I get back to the States. I'm fine at good seafood restaurants. Mm, that sounds so good. Yeah. I'm going to take my one year old cash and buy a townhome in your neighborhood. I like the way you think. Uh, there you go. Is <laughs> that Laurel? No! <laughs> Uh, and what has she has meant to, to business management? The, the accomplishments that she has made are, I mean, it's a long list. And I won't go over that list now. But just, just uh, on behalf of the friends here, we wanted to, uh, to give you something. Uh, because not only were you the anchor, <laughs> not only were you the continuity for business management, um, but you are a vital part of the, of the headquarters here. Uh, we hope this will remind you of that and that you will think of us when you aren't here uh, because we will be watching to see what other great things you do when you get back to the States. So on behalf of everyone, please take that and we hope that's a token you will remember us by. <laughs> is it ticking? No, it is not. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Oh, that. that is well beautiful. What does it say? <laughs> it says we just extended you for six months. Congratulations! By accepting this gift. <laughs> oh goodness. Well, thank you so much. Um, more so, uh, of course, for this gift, but for the friendship since I've been here. I don't think, uh, Doug and I were talking about this, you don't have the opportunity any other time in your life to spend so much time, all the time, whether it be uh, what you do at work, what you do after work, work out, socializing. So it's been a great six months. It's flew by in a flash. And I know that a lot of folks here, I will cross paths with you in the future. So I look forward to that. Thank you. If that's what's in the box, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's coffee creamer inside. <laughs> okay. Hazelnut and inside. Is, is that what it is? Yeah, okay. Actually. Yeah. Everyone. Oh, uh, very appropriate. My association with Miss um, Wanda Sutton now has now hit us about 565th day. <laughs> <laughs> not that I'm yeah. counting. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is teasing, but the uh, actually each one of those days have been a blessing. Actually, our, I don't know if she remembers this, but our association actually started before I even arrived in theater. I was um, a branch chief in Secondheim, Germany at the CPOC Center working with another branch chief who was setting up AFRICOM. And Matt Johnson uh, helped recruit me to come here, and so they sent out an email welcoming me to help me through the process. About 36 hours later, I get an email with an attached resume. <laughs> Of three people. That was my introduction to Miss Sutton. <laughs> Fortunately, I failed in my attempts to get her hired at AFRICOM, and so I was blessed to be able to work with her, with her for the last 500 and some days. But, anyways, the, uh, there's a number of people in the G1 office who would love to be here. I mean, she's, she's almost been here from, from the beginning, and ironically, is leaving within 35 days of getting her um, Iraqi citizenship. So. <laughs> I think we know the real reason she's that we have here is our very own GRD elusive order of bunker huggers. <laughs> Read the citations here. Um, Wanda Sutton, in recognition for voluntarily living and working in an impact zone for random high explosive ordnance and for serving with selfless distinction in a steer fortified frontier of the international zone, Baghdad, Iraq, and having exhibited cunning fitness and responsiveness to the CRAM Big Voice Alpha with panache and an extraordinary unique rapid dash to the <laughs> exemplified in only the finest traditions of professional deskbound warriors, is hereby and forevermore to be recognized within the Corps of Engineers for 
across the Army and around the world as a battle-tested member of the elusive order of bunker huggers. young lady has endured, here's her scattergram, which goes back a while. I was actually it's amazed really because lot. it was really hard because the initial first print of it, when we put her dates in, it came back really as one big red area, and you couldn't tell it was the ID. So we had them reduce the scale a little bit, and so now you can actually see it. And uh, please note that the yellow area up here is our compound. <laughs> wow. Uh, since Ms. Allen, Mr. Allen and his son have been here for a minimum of 12 months, or 240 alerts or lockdowns in order to receive their full 35% of danger pay. Ms. Eller was neither extended or for a longer tour nor spent enough time to duck and cover Bucker to receive her full danger pay while in Iraq. Um, HR, G1, and business manager will be making a correction to her first home LES. She can expect to pay back a minimum of 2% of her pay while in theater. <laughs> and in case you're wondering why we're teasing, the, apparently the surgeons were a little bit too afraid to upset Ms. Eller while she was <laughs> Hell's gonna break loose now. <laughs> <laughs>